finally, I've gotten to ride the latest and greatest off of the TVS Apache Stable, the RTR 310. Let me tell you this, this motorcycle aims for the stars. But how is it? Where does it stand in this ever competitive entry level performance segment? And who does it really cater to? All to talk about in today's episode of Upshift. Let's go. The RTR 310 is a head turner, no doubt, with its muscular cuts and really bold looks. It has a very beautiful Street Fighter style design and it definitely commands a lot of attention. On the front fascia, I really like the touches that make it resemble a lot like a Ducati Street Fighter, which is one of my favorite bikes. And the tank as well is really muscular and it looks very, very transformer like. If attention is what you like, this bike definitely commands it. But if you ask me my personal opinion, I think the bike is a little too busy for my liking and the color schemes really don't hit it for me. The blue sepang color looks fantastic on this, but it does cost 10,000 rupees extra. However, if I was going to buy that bike, I would definitely pay that premium. And after all, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So. Let's talk about what's new on this bike. A lot of people expected the RTR 310 to have pretty much the same engine as any other motorcycle in the TVS BMW lineup, but it came with some pretty major upgrades. You now have forged piston, you have a better exhaust and a larger airbox. You also have a larger rear sprocket, which has made the gearing a little shorter. And now the bike makes 33 bhp and 28-ish Newton meters of torque. And that is a roughly one horsepower increase from the other TVS motorcycles or BMW motorcycles. But uh, it also has a different map which has made it very, very leery. And its bottom end is really smooth and its top end is very enjoyable. So it is a nice and engaging motorcycle. but. The short gearing has made it a little difficult for touring since the bike is going to be revving at 7000 RPM uh, at 100 km an hour on 6th gear. It is really involving for maybe the first 15 minutes. So a short highway blast is a lot of fun. However, once you will be spending some time on this saddle, you will be feeling like you're in a very loud environment. So if you're planning on doing tours with your RTR 310, my best advice would be to go for the smaller rear sprocket that comes in the RR310 and you will be much better off with a much more relaxed engine at higher speeds. This is not what is most impressive about the motorcycle. What has actually really stood out to me is how infested with geekery this motorcycle is. <music> The Apache RTR 310 is one of the most teched out motorcycles you can buy in this segment. You get cruise control as standard across all variants and if you opt for the Dynamic Pro Kit which is an additional 22,000 rupees, you also get heated and cooled seats and dynamic stability control. Opt for the Dynamic Kit which is an additional 18,000 rupees, you get fully adjustable front and rear suspension, TPMS and a brass coated chain. The digital display on the bike is sharp and crisp and provides all of the required data. You can switch between five different riding modes, urban, rain, sport, track, and supermoto. You also get four custom widgets on the main display, which you can customize as per your liking as to what information you want to be displayed on each tile. Overall, the RTR 310 is a pretty tech loaded motorcycle, but all of this tech would be of no use if the ergonomics of this bike aren't that good. Now, when you swing your leg over the RTR 310, you are found in a very comfortable position, in my opinion. For the road, it is perfect. You're not very committed to the front, but there is still a little bit of lean 
towards the handlebar and the foot pegs are actually pretty front uh, biased so you are not really stressed uh, while riding uh, on the road but when it comes to dynamic riding and pushing the motorcycle if you need to push your butt back you will be uh, bothered by the knob from the pillion seat and the foot peg is uh, uh, very easy to scrape while turning aggressively in corners so i really hope that uh, tvs comes out with a special bto pack with rear sets and maybe a more aggressive handlebar that would make this motorcycle really really pop and uh, otherwise the steering angle is pretty much the same as uh, the rr310 so you are in a very easy place to maneuver and that was something that the rr310 also had slow speed maneuverability all overall it is a comfortable bike to ride but uh, if you go for the bto pack and you really want that climate control seat you might be facing a little bit of problems while touring however this soft seat i don't think you will be having any problem at all The RTR's new engine is a fun hoot, but it's not the smack in your face you were expecting after looking at the design. It is a fairly powerful bike and it's also rather tractable. Pondering around town, the RTR is pretty smooth even if you're a gear higher. The gears are really short, so if you want to be at the perfect spot, you are going to be shifting a fair bit. But if you're okay with using the whole rev range, you'll notice that the bottom end is also smooth and an overall calm bike. push the motorcycle and the revs come up in a linear manner with a very loud roar for a stock bike the rtr features a well balanced chassis and suspension setup providing excellent handling and stability the sporty ish riding position and precise steering make it agile in corners but it's also pretty easy to maneuver through traffic without adding a lot of strain on your upper body The brakes worked rather well providing adequate stopping power but I did feel that the ABS could be calibrated a bit better in some instances while riding in the rain I found the rain mode to be a bit too protective not allowing me to extract as much stopping power as I would like and in urban mode I found it to be too lenient making me lock the front in the drive for a good moment before it actually starts working the traction control however works very well to prevent the rear from slipping even if you're being rough to the bike Regardless of the weather conditions, the chassis is something I really enjoyed though. It is playful and forgiving. It rewards you for smooth inputs and it feels super stable on the edge. But there is one thing about it. It's not a particularly manic motorcycle. She is a friendly sweetheart, linear, smooth and athletic, which could mean that if you are jumping from say a 200 cc bike, you might lose your interest in this motorcycle faster in your years of ownership and the craving for an upgrade could come faster. But if this is your first bike the RTR has more than enough headroom to teach you a lot which is exactly the kind of demographic I would recommend this bike to Time to talk about what confuses me the most about the Apache RTR 310 and that's confusing me personally uh you see this variant the Yellow Fury is priced at 2.64 lakhs which makes it a better deal than quite a few 250 cc motorcycles uh in the segment so this can be a very very good decision to take some of the piece of the cake from the 250 cc segment and uh at this price point at 2.64 lakhs it's actually cheaper than a couple of those bikes no mentioning brands over here uh and on the flip side you've got the BTO decked out TVS Apache RTR 310 which is priced just very close to the bike that i own uh and i am very very excited to see how they both match up watch out for that soon in my opinion i really think that the person who is uh, considering a speed 400 or a g310r or um, a honda cb300r 
they should really look at this motorcycle because it might cost a little bit of a premium compared to the non BMW bikes. Uh, this could really, really be the motorcycle that gives you all of the toys for a very reasonable price, especially this variant. So, in my opinion, this could be one of the best dailyable 300cc motorcycles in the market right now. And I can't wait to continue riding this. So, I must head out and uh, continue having fun with this motorcycle for as long as I can because it is a very, very enjoyable bike. So, thank you so much for watching. Do let us know what are your thoughts on the Apache RTR 310 and watch out for us pitting this against my Duke 390 coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.